Hey y'all, aside from my new book, there's a link below for our next tiny house hands-on building workshop with camping in North Carolina. Going to be three days with lots of guest speakers and guest builders. And we have our transforming A-frame tiny house slash cabin plans available all in the description below. All the links you need or on RelaxShacks.com, so be sure to check it out. Here's one that was built recently out in Montana that's a rental on Airbnb. <music> It felt good to burn. To quote Ray Bradbury. These are the remains of my work shed. This is your shed. This is your shed on drugs. Any questions? Hey, what's up, Deke? RelaxShacks.com. Uh, sorry for the absence in videos for a while. I've been working on some stuff for my Odd USA channel and filming a music video for the band I front, Inverter. Check that out, Inverter Boston Facebook. I'm also working on a bunch of things to try to beat the weather as I do live in New England. Uh, one of which is getting rid of my minuscule, tiny, way too small work shed. Uh, you know, a lot of people, I do a lot of building and traveling. You see that all my belongings tarp in the background, so redneck. A lot of people think I have this giant workshop. No, I work outdoors most of the time. Love it 80% of the time. But I have this little, like, aside from a shed, a little work foyer where I keep all my tools. But as of recently, uh, it's been broken into. Some of the tools were stolen. It wasn't really secure, and it was too small. So I'm building a bigger, better, simpler one. And I'll show you a little bit here. Somehow, under all these tarps, yes, my wife is a saint, and I have stuff in my basement right now. It was all shelved and fit, storage-wise, into this pad here. This is a mess now. I've been demolishing it, chainsawing it, you know, pry barring it apart. Five by eight, and that's it where it was kind of a foyer. I built initially almost as a greenhouse where he came out of my basement, which is partly finished and had a uh, you know passive solar heated greenhouse for plants and just to retain some heat. This used to be a way back in the 30s, a garage door here we took out. Um, I'm tearing this all apart. A lot of it time-wise, unfortunately, isn't worth saving and it's been here for quite some time. Just want to show you this too. Uh, this is Pal roof, I believe, or sun tough. When we took a sledgehammer to that, just poking up above, it shattered. The tough decks, I only had one sheet because we ran out of the other stuff initially. We had to cut. We kept slamming it with a sledgehammer. Was not breaking like the other stuff and coming down easily. So that's another reason I'm going with the tough decks and not this stuff that just rotted in the sun. It just shattered like nothing else, which surprised me. If a branch or a large acorn were to fall on that, it would puncture a hole right through it. It's just garbage. These posts here, if I remember correctly, are set down into cement in the ground, so I'm not looking forward to getting those out to put in these new base pieces I have over here that in the rain and the snow the other day I've been prefabricating. And these giant, simple 8x8 wall pieces that hopefully will go together much like Legos with these new tough text panels that are somewhat insulated, you know, double walled. So that's what's going to be going in almost a, you know, not greenhouse, but I want a lot of natural light in here but not so much with the size of these where I sacrifice wall space that I need for storage. I will show you a closer view of that. This is not an exciting video, I know, but just wanted to show you guys what I've been up to and to apologize for videos kind of being slow. We have many to come. And a lot of cool uh, tiny house festivals are on the way. New Orleans, we're doing a home show in Oklahoma. Uh, yeah, my hands are pretty filthy, by the way. Never trust a builder that isn't filthy and doesn't have calloused hands. That's one of my rules. Never trust a builder doesn't swear profusely, too, which I don't do on this channel, but in real life, different story. Um, but I'm trying to get this stuff out of the way. Uh, oh, we have a North Carolina workshop coming up, too, um, with myself and Stephen Harold Tiny House Listings, but enough yammering. Let me show you this. So here are these panels. These were, I try to use everything, these were left over from an art installation. They're like 3 8 inch ply we're going to reinforce. Those could be some almost clerestory like lights up here because the pieces we had only were this long. So I'm like, oh, they don't reach all the way. We'll make that look intentional. Um, simple bases. I'm building out of two by sixes that will kind of have a girder running under the center to support them too. And let me show you this stuff on the back here. This is all this nice. My yard's a junkyard right now. I sell a lot of architectural salvage. Uh, these are these double walled tough text panels, polycarbonate as well. And they're pretty awesome, at least from what I see so far. So these are four by eight. 
and I might divide them up more for support, but I kind of want to put shelving in front of this so at night you'll see some of, you know, what I'm storing in there. But it'll be somewhat safe behind the polycarbonate. But I'm not going to store anything in, you know, visibly that's that valuable, if that makes sense. Um, but this structure, there'll be a door here, I haven't put the header on, that will lock and all that jazz. And I'm just going to make this much more secure, but just a lot neater and organized. The old space just didn't work out, it was too small made out of salvage and scraps, and was a beast to take apart. I built it 10, 12 years ago. I was kind of swearing at myself for how well I had built it, because just the sledgehammer blows, the chainsaws weren't taking it apart. So this is a mess here, it won't be later, and that's the whole point of this project. This will come out quite a ways, it'll be eight by 16 now, because I'm in dire need of the space. And It will also be sort of a micro, I'm hoping, YouTube studio for me to do smaller DIY projects because this channel, again, is tiny houses, weird art, tree houses, and occasionally some smaller DIY projects for decor, repurposing, all that. So just want to share with you guys. We'll give you an update in the video soon. Um, thanks for watching. Like I said, haven't checked in in a while. And please subscribe, and we'll see you later. Back to tend the fire.